live from Austin, where Captain Maga Planet and Jay Leno's horrific burn is celebrated by germs. Boy, it's going to be a great night. Now, remember that drugs ain't no good, and Knight Rider and Voltron want to stop the steal because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, friend. Oh, 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 good to see you. Oh, my. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, hey. If it isn't you. In you. Flim Flam Flemmy, my oldest nemesis. Ding, dang, dong, gingus. Uh, my my <laughs> old college roommate. <laughs> ah, we pulled some, some shenanigans back in the day, didn't we? Oh, well, there was the old Winslow heist. Oh, my gosh. There was the Coniferous Con. They there was... still haven't found trees. <laughs> there was the uh, 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 Reading Rainbow Riot. <laughs> And then there was January 6th. Yep. Uh, I wrote a song about how How long ago did we go to college? (laughs) A couple months. Oh, yeah. We're very young. (laughs) A couple of months ago. Yeah, we're recent grads. But but then we had that falling out, and I've never forgotten given you. Um, Yep. That's why I wrote this song. Fuck. (laughs) Do 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 your song. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah. Flip, flip, flip. You can't just boodle doodle me and and think that I'm gonna buy into your song. This is you why... spent so much time on that song, and I was proud of you, <laughs> and I told you I was proud of you, but you didn't. You can't accept praise, and so instead <laughs> you just tried to deflect and deflect and deflect, and so you boodle doodle me then, now, and forever, and I will reject it because you want to know what? Ding dong dingus. <laughs> You're you're a good person, and you only rejected me. Ding dong, ding dong, ding diggy ding ding diggy ding ding diggy ding dong 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 ding diggy ding. The magic of Christmas. Ding diggy ding dong dong. There's only one thing that you can count on. Dong dong dong. At MCI World Cup. We can't do the same bit. Fuck you, Phil Flim Flam Flemmy. It's back. Eat shit, ding dang dungus. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, man, what's going on? Uh, dude, uh, 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 it's the end of the year. It is. And I just don't care. Why do you, except for why I do care you think, very, very much. Why do you think that happened? <sighs> the end of the year. I blame Earth. Yeah. <gasps> Spinning around. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. It's over here one day. It's yep. over there one day. Uh-huh. It's hot. It's cold. Everyone acts like the seasons are natural, but it seems like the planet could at any moment just, you know, decide to You want to know what? Summer. I'm with you. A lot of people spend a lot of time flapping their gums about climate change. Nobody keeps talking about the fact that there's temporal change. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fix that the minutes, real problem. Minutes are wasting right now. As I talk to you... Well, I know you're wasting minutes. Go ahead. Yes, exactly. No, I'm not. We're all... We could be here in a world without look, time. Look. And yet... Okay, you're and yet, here. I'm here. Big business wants to keep these minutes ticking. The point is the minutes are wasted. Yeah. Including the all of the minutes that led up to our first story. Our first story! Sassy Siri and the two-star waterford. <laughs> I never did find out the original good name for this. Uh, so I, I, I went and picked up my daughter from college. Uh, her first uh, She's semester. back. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was down here for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then she went, no, but this happens in college. Like, yeah, like no, you, no. You, you go and just, then you come the back and you, you go it, back. It, yeah. it, was, it was like you were talking about the clap or something like, again? What, what the fuck? What the fucking fuck? What? <laughs> nope. Nothing funny I could do with that. All right. No. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, so, so, uh, some would say that that started with your first comment. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, nor previously what Penny had done is taken, uh, the mega bus down. Right. And, yeah, and yeah. that's a, that's a convenient thing because mm -hmm. you're in the middle of downtown Dallas. And, and that's a regular and, bus, but it can turn into a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and how big of a gun is it? January 6th. <laughs> Um, the, uh, By so, the way, this was a good pre-show. If you skip the pre-show, listen to the pre-show. Yeah, definitely listen yeah. to the green room. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if people accused us of having some green in the green room. It, yeah. it was on fire. But uh, uh, Penny, it's like a three and a half hour drive, and so she takes the mega bus. She does the thing that I, I would do if I was 18 and on a bus, uh, just uh, tune out time, fart yeah. around on an iPad, and then show up at home. But uh, she needed to bring home, you know, because it'll be a whole month that she's here, which means we have to go get her desktop computer. So uh, I went up, uh, visited uh, my college roommate, um, uh, uh, my fellow ship piper, Brady Hurst, and then uh, I picked her up, and then we started going down south. Now, this is a very, very long day because uh, I was up all night visiting with Brady, catching up on old times. Then I, it was a two-and-a-half-hour drive over a torrential downpour. It's one of those things where it's like it should be 90 minutes, but it's two-and-a-half hours and Dallas, not the best planning for a city. There's entire sections where just the highways turn into a lake for some yeah. reason. Everybody slowed down. And it's one of those things where you don't realize that you're starting to white knuckle. But then all of a sudden you're like, oh, man, all this rain and my hands feel like they're on fire. And then you realize oh, that you've been yeah. gripping everything, yeah. right? So I go up and I pick up Penelope. It's pouring down rain. We get everything into the car. And it's like, oh, that front that I just went through, I get to go through it again. So we keep on going. Still being su super cool. This is supposed to be 90 minutes into the journey. We're now uh, four hours, I believe. And that's not an overestimate. Um, and we start going south on 35. And Penny, like, I'm doing, I'm doing double duty. First of all, being a responsible driver. But also... Uh, trying to really take this opportunity to connect with her and be joyful about her first time coming home uh, fr uh, from the road. <clears throat> and um, we, we're headed down lightning bolts, like 13 lightning strikes with visible hit the ground uh, and, and, you know, big rigs and all that stuff. We Did make Thor show up? Uh, it might as well. It, 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 I, 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 if I close my eyes hard enough, I can picture Led Zeppelin playing <laughs> as, as, as we're going. But, but we make it past Interstate 20, and then we're talking to Bonnie, and we're like, hey, we're going to be a bit late. And, of course, Josie is annoyed. Bonnie's annoyed. Everyone's annoyed that we're late, but I'm trying to play cool or whatever. Yeah, white knuckle, everything. Uh, we, uh, we, we get down there, uh, <clears throat> still playing it cool with Penny. She's playing all of her favorite Japanese Vocaloid hits. Uh, how would you, if you were to, because I've never heard these songs, uh, 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 how, uh, how, how would they go? They're intense. But if you were to do an impression of them. Uh, I, I bet Bryce could give us something. Bryce, I could you do an impression of no, a Japanese I, I, oh, I song? No, I actually play one. She, he, he, no, he, no, 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 <clears throat> I want to hear you do it. <sighs> okay. I like baby metal because it's it's the sweetest of the sweet and the the death metal of the death metaliest and yeah. combined together. Yeah. Imagine it was all just well actually that but with no irony. Just uh Alright, so this is so these are computer vocals. Driving beat. Driving beat. <laughs> oh, and it, 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 it's a big Japanese drum like what? <clears throat> And, 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 and the, the, the whole point of Vocaloids is that you you program a song that is faster than any human can possibly sing along. Oh, gotcha. And yet my daughter next to me is able to keep pace. With everything. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, she, she, she is, she is in the striking. prime the prime of her life to remember. She knows all the words to this. Yeah. Whatever this is, I guarantee you, she knows all the words to all of this. And also, her face is a radiant sunshine of joy and beauty. And as a father, I'm so excited for her. Also, there's fucking lightning and there's flooded waters and the, the fucking traffic keeps going. And the speed limit says 75, you asshole. And we're going, and, and then we get to a place, we get past the front, and then we, uh, I, 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 
are on the phone with Bonnie, uh, and, and it occurs to me, like, uh, uh, and then Pity goes, ooh, Whataburger. Uh, this is at exit, uh, or, sorry, slightly before that, Penny, just seeing the world around her, says, ha! And Bonnie says, what, over the phone? And, and, and she says, oh, I don't know, it just said exit 420. That's a funny number. And <laughs> Bonnie did the mom thing, like, why is that funny? And it's like, uh, <laughs> Penny, my daughter, says, uh, you know, it's a funny number. Like, uh, there's 420 and 69, and I was like, okay, sweetie, we got to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we uh, uh, make it another mile. She sees a Whataburger. She really wants a Whataburger. Fine. Uh, I think it's a good time to do a little bit of a reset. We seem to have made it past the storm. And I say to, I don't know which side of the highway it's on. I don't know how to get there because all of those road signs lie. And so I say, uh, hey, Siri, uh, directions to Whataburger. Can I pause you just real quick? Yes. Listeners, please understand that Brian, despite his frustration with Siri, has a over-reliance on Siri and will just say random things to Siri, like, Siri, where's my home right now? And and expect him the Siri to know like he spends more time at one place than the other place and 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 then be upset when Siri doesn't know. Brian, continue. Viewers. Remember that we're actually setting up a bit that is going to happen two bits from now. Uh, so uh, I say uh, 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 directions to Waterburger, right? And something happened that has never, ever happened before. Siri says, I found a Whataburger, uh, uh, Whataburger uh, 0.8 miles away from you. Normally, what's the next thing Siri would say? Here's the directions. Correct. Instead, I'm confused because I hear her say, <sighs> But it only has two stars. <laughs> <laughs> and so... <laughs> and so it does a huff. <laughs> it does Pretty a like, much. Like, 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 <sighs> so if you're a slumming-ass bitch, then maybe I guess I'll give you directions. And, and, and but to be honest, Brian, I thought you were better than this. All of that is implied. All of those are things that Penny and I laugh about. Yeah. Like, since when do I AI I if bots... you want to ruin your palate like a poor, <laughs> I can give you the turn by turn. <laughs> and, 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 and then she says, are you sure you would like directions? And I was like, yes. Uh, did you misunderstand the question? And so uh, we get directions. We go across the highway, which is something I don't do. But, uh, but, but uh, we, Penny and I spend all of this time laughing about since when do... AI's sassy back talk you and criticize your decisions. Uh, and, then, and then we make the joke of like, what if it really is that bad? And that was like a coded warning. Ah, ha, ha, yeah. ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Pull into the parking lot. Okie dokie. Well, uh, I'm going to take a bathroom break. You know how to order for yourself. Uh, I walk in. Can I, can I ask you this? Because this is something that we've been on. Place your plenty. Bets, we, we, no, no, no. no. We, we have been on plenty of road trips together. We have discussed being on the road and our habits together uh a thing for which we developed yes was not getting in the don't cross the fucking road okay no sorry what, what i mean is like it was a big deal that i even went across the road yeah oh sure sure yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. no no no, no. Easy I, off, I, easy I, off. I mean when, when, when you're when you're going to any kind of drive through establishment a fast food restaurant you if there's any line at all you don't you park and then uh, the joke that we've had sure. is that we would yell at the cars and be like, well, I, I, we're going to eat in our car. Same <laughs> as you. Same as you. We're just going to get our food earlier. We're just going to walk inside. There's no one inside. And we're going to get our food. And we're going to eat in our car. And we would do it. And it would, it would work. And the only thing that made us less haughty dipshits was that we didn't, like, slowly parade boat in front of them while they were still waiting and we were eating. <laughs> Correct. So, uh, but I, <clears throat> I do have to uh, uh, empty my bladder, and so uh, I, we both go in. You go get food. I go uh, release food. Um, and uh, <laughs> hey, did and you go piss? Did you go pee at no, the water? I, I, I took, took a, a shit. Yeah, I took a I, shit. I, yeah. So I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know why I bothered burger, trying to make yeah. a bathroom. Joke, it would be worse. <laughs> Somebody else is gonna go there and say, "I went to the water burger off the highway and I saw a big old shit in there." <laughs> There was a big shit. Two stars. <laughs> I open up. Number two stars. 
It's not bad. Uh, I open up the bathroom door, and um, do you remember how abusive I was with the fog machine last week? Yes, <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, it is worse than that. People were smoking weed in, in, in the Whataburger bathroom? Not just people. Three of the Whataburger employees. <laughs> You're about to get the best fucking chicken tenders of your life. So wait, so you open the fucking stall and there's three water uh, Whataburger employees? Yes. Did you get in on the rotation? Uh, well, I I I I had to drive, and so <laughs> for the first time, so you know. just open it up and fucking as as the as 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 the, the, the stall door opens, Sublime starts playing. Yes, <laughs> as they all in unison whip back to you. I open the door and I and I'm not exaggerating when I say there there was it was more foggy than on election night uh and and for the first time in my fucking life as I creep up on 50 years old I just went <sighs> Uh, three 17 year old boys kind of shuffle around walking circles and I just I if I could say it I would have been like eh, 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 eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you gotta, couldn't even say that? What no, I, well, I mean, so you were I don't know, no they might mood. beat me up. You were in no mood for the <laughs> bullshit. Yes, correct. Uh, you I, were you were Judge Judy. You were like, 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 enough, 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 enough. Yes. Get it out, get it out. I have not spent my entire life in family law. I just want a burger and whatever fish thing my daughter wants. Or no, not a fish thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, just fries. That, just yeah. fries. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get them and we're gonna go. You were you were you were not it wasn't a joke, it wasn't funny, it wasn't like LOL uh, I'm I'm the white guy in a Cheech and Chong. Correct. Like I, I, I was just you were like, just like get the <laughs> fuck out, I gotta shit yeah, for, right now. And so uh uh I I I, I sit to shit and I realize that <laughs> I'm getting high. <laughs> I'm in a fucking hot box. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not like vape shit. No. <laughs> there, Full on skunk weed, just to the max, and, and again, I mean, they're, they're, so they're, much of it. They're seventeen, so if swag still exists, <laughs> they're the ones smoking it. Correct. And so, uh, 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 I finish up, and I and I close the door, and up until this moment, I questioned why I said the following, but now I think I know why I said it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh you, you know, my kid's first semester out in college, and I was like, uh, and I. I told uh, Penny all of this stuff, and she goes, "What? You're what? Oh my God, what?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, you want me to open the door? You want to see what it looks like or smell it?" And she was like, uh, "No." And I was like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna go do emails out in the car." Sure, yeah. Uh, also, for the record, that also to her would have been like, "You want to smell my shit?" <laughs> well, uh, uh, in the boys' know, bathroom, my, might have saved me. But I'm telling you, it was something to behold. The can we simulate it? No, we don't have the fog machine. Damn it. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, but, but the, um, uh, uh, anybody anyway. have weed? You want to smoke weed live on the air? <laughs> so, uh, uh, I go out and I'm doing emails. It seems like I'm doing emails for a very long time. And Penny comes back and she, uh, she's like, uh, Dad, they just forgot about my order. And they eventually <laughs> realized I was just standing in front of the counter. And they said, Do you need something? And <laughs> And I said, I would like my fries, please. And then they forgot again. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, but I did figure out what weed smells like. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Anyway, if I, were, if, I, if I were there, I would give that place four. No. <laughs> two. No, zero stars God, great, great. in that order in one series of numbers. <laughs> it's a new rating they have. Four, yeah. no, two, no, no. zero. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it, was, it was an extraordinary experience. Uh, and, and by the way, uh, we get on the road. Two things happen. Uh, quick little uh, denouement. Uh, Penny, uh, we get on the highway and Penny goes, ha. And I was like, what? She was like, that was exit 420. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Five. I don't practice Santeria. <laughs> I ain't got no crystal ball. <laughs> and then we passed like five billboards for edibles. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> if I add a so, million dollars and I, I spend it all, all price. Right. <laughs> Next on time. me. I hope you spend it on me. <laughs> I don't know, you know, like Brian and Jury. I mean, we're we're, uh, we're a pair, that's for sure. Yeah, but the word says come. So I want I want <laughs> Jeff. I want Just you to get ready well, because uh, well, thank uh, you, no, but. Uh, <laughs> Because I need, uh, uh, Brett, I'm going to need you to zoom in here. Like, uh, uh, Jeff. so, uh, yeah, Jeff. I said, didn't you I say, say you said Brett? You know what? You did. What? You did say. I said Jeff first. God damn it, Bryce. You got fucking corn cobs in your ear. Nah, uh, I've got like earbuds. I can hear. You've been, you've been, you've been fucking with me all day. Uh, okay. so just, just, just Somebody went there. to Whataburger. Yeah, okay, so I can, I can, so I can flip it when, <laughs> I, when I need to. So, uh, uh, my phone, I have an iPhone. <laughs> All right, hold on, y'all know. These wow. I, I said I said it as an offhand joke. I said somebody went to Whataburger, but now huh? I'm just picturing that you're totally bliss and everything is much funnier. I mean, I feel like that's my career. <laughs> well, it's, it's a lot funnier to think I'm high. <laughs> uh, 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 so my my so you iPhone, have one of these iPhone. This yeah, it's an iPhone, an information phone, and. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, is that yep. why it's called an iPhone? Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Uh, so on an information Ooh. phone <laughs> on, on the latest the OS, the <laughs> on the latest OS, uh, it'll do things like create photo montages of and 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 video clips uh, oh, wicked of shit high that you have. Like job Facebook. saying it's called an information phone and it will create photo montages. You're not describing a joke that's just probably what happened yeah <laughs> it's probably just it's look I, I, we all have to see the matrix for the first time sometime so the photo montages that normally happen are the people that you take photos of the most and the phone makes educated guesses as to your relationship with them so if you take a bunch of photos of a kid it'll probably play kind of like kid music or maybe like you know like Cats in the cradle in the silver spoon or something like that. Some shit like that. That'll that'll be the montage that that will uh, uh in you know encapsulate this experience. Uh, right? th three of the ones I've gotten have been like uh family vacations and it's us at Epcot. Yeah. Another one will be like Las Vegas over the years. All of them, you and I, you know, yeah, you know, whatever. So so uh, I, I'll get a lot of like at the show. Or yeah. in in Vegas or Pet whatever. Friends. Yeah, and it, it and it'll be like like you know like meh, 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 nah, 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 fun night out. This is the song. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> so I get one that's just and I can't remember what it was initially called, but it was just a uh, a uh, 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 over the years. Okay, hold on. All right, you're gonna okay. So Ready. here we go. Uh, uh, what I realize is that it's Brian is is the face initially on it. Uh, and I come to realize that my iPhone has made assumptions about my relationship <laughs> with Brian. Uh, not only in the song choice it picked, but also in some of the pictures and videos. Now, I can't <laughs> export this for weird fucking information phone reasons. It's but information like, phone, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, we're going to do our best to play it uh, off the mic and into the camera. This will go swimmingly. Yeah. It'll go exactly right. Thank you to our friends at Apple. Oh, turn it, turn it up. What? Shit, my guy's stop recording. All right, go. Just, just, love, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that there's just too yep. little love. Yep. Not, is love sweet. <laughs> no, So there we go. <laughs> so Standing yeah. belly clap. Yep. <sighs> so my iPhone's writing slash fic about us. And uh, <laughs> apparently I do take a lot of photos of, of pensive Brian from far away. Like that, that was the one thing where I'm like, no, you think that we're dating because like you are selecting the photos that I'm taking of candid Brian from from far away. The only way that could have been better is if it was kind of like an emo song. And it's just like the one that got away. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't bold enough to say <laughs> you could have approached. 
I give him a brooch and then turn totally gay. Show tunes are great. <laughs> Let's all masturbate. <laughs> we're jerking yeah? our dicks and uh. we're having a time and we're fucking each other's up buttholes all the time. Fucking go gay. You've been straight up until today. <laughs> no, all right. I like cats. <laughs> Price <laughs> next topic. God damn it. Those uh, those views do not reflect all of Great Night. <laughs> I mean, they, they reflect Justin's information phone. Benches to heat. <laughs> Wait, no, no, don't put that on my phone. No, I, I that you. was a direct quote. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, Andrew Heaton. He's a man, <laughs> human, uh, a good person, and he's got a problem. Because every year he does a, a, a sketch comedy episode of his political program, a holiday political special. orphanage, a holiday special that is comprised of sketch comedy. And uh, because he is a comedian and he is a writer, and back in the day he used to do a show where he was five days a week and he wrote three sketches per show because he's a yeah. goddamn lunatic. Uh, he feels the need to make sure that this one big expression of, of, of sketch comedy is something for which uh, uh, carries forward. But I, he's a few years into it, and, and, and our boy's reaching to the back of the cupboard. Well, uh, I, 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 I think he's doing better and better each time, but he's starting to realize that he's established a legacy, and he has a reputation to live up to, mm -hmm. right? So I get a casual phone call. Hey, uh, I thought it would be fun to sit by a campfire and have a cigar. And I'm like, of course, yes, uh, yeah, I'm free. He's like, eh, maybe we could bang around some ideas for my holiday special. And so uh, he shows up and um, person who I assume is Andrew Heaton, uh, I saw a side of him that I had, I saw the thousand yard stare of somebody looking at a deadline and a uh, unfairly incredible amount of 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 content that he intended to produce yeah. in about 20 minutes so what we're gonna do right now is help the old boy by ruining his holiday special no 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 no, no and no. revealing are... all the pitches that we gave him and oh, don't oh. know whether or not they're about to show up on his show or not Oh, 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 you want to do starting with this one? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I thought, I thought we were gonna do new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. So, yeah. uh, so here's the thing about pitching is, um, who knows? Uh, bless his soul, a Andrew Heaton. His head is in production mode. He's about to do a gig, right? Yeah. So, so when you go into a pitch room, the purpose is for people to fling things at you, and then whatever sticks, like the next Thick. day, yeah. ends up being yeah. a, 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 a thing. And so, uh, <clears throat> one of the things I pitched, and we're gonna air it here because uh i i because fuck you andrew Heaton. um because uh I, that'll, that'll show you for trusting me oh no no no, no. well well uh, because if it doesn't show up i at least want it out in the universe yes. and if it does show up everyone will be like oh my god that's, that's the one that, that we did yeah, on the yeah, thing yeah, right yeah. <clears throat> okay here we go as simple as i can make it <clears throat> Damn it, Bing! I said we wanted a song that'll be the most hated, reviled Christmas song on the planet in 50 years. So far, you've only given us a rapey guy who's cold, a materialistic prostitute who figures Santa is some kind of demigod sex-based vending machine, and a kid who watches Santa cuck his dad under the mistletoe, all of which are already Christmas songs. I swear, Bing, at this point, we're about to drop you from Columbia Records. I'm gonna close this door, and I don't care what it takes. When I come back in there, you better have the most hated song in Christmas. Christmas history. Uh, what's a Bing Crosby impression? <laughs> gonna have a nice Oh, buddy, bada boo. Bing, uh, you're really in for it now. Try to think it out. Okay. Let's utilize your secret weapon, Bing. LSD. <laughs> Bing Crosby used LSD. Uh, <clears throat> In case that wasn't clear, I, I'm i Bing Crosby, bo -bo -bo -bo, and I've just done LSD, acid, a psychotropic drug that'll uh, apparently open up my mind. That wasn't clear, apparently, and there needed to be a narrator. I'm looking at the narrator now. Is that fine? These are pitches, not final. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, bo -bo -bo -bo. Greek. 
Okay, Bing, this better be a dizzy war. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've done it. Boys, we have it. 50 years from now, everyone will hate this song. Pause. Let's play a game. What do you think you hear next? Uh, uh, Woody? Well, has simply having a wonderful blah, blah, blah. That's the one. Yeah. A song <laughs> not <laughs> by Bing Crosby. <laughs> well, none of them were. Yeah. Was well, the I one, guess wait. the rapey guy was. I don't know. He, probably, he sang a lot of songs. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. What'd you pitch? I read one. I haven't even pitched to him. Perfect. I I haven't even pitched this one to him. He uh uh he got one pitch by proxy. I call it, it what there's one um there's one that I sent him that was about a very online Santa uh <laughs> who he's COVID's been very lonely for Santa and uh it's up until this year. This is the first year where like a kid will want to come out of his room to catch Santa delivering presents. And you realize that like he's been trying to do that for two years and nobody's wanted to do it because of COVID. And then Santa's really weird and it turns out he's into a lot of online shit. He keeps talking about <laughs> Jordan Peterson and crypto and stuff like that. But like, uh, so that's when I actually sent him. This is one that I did not. Um, so I'm just going to read it. It's really two parts. I, I only get like a little bit into it. It's not good. Um <laughs> But, uh, uh, Brian, you're going to be all of the recruits. Okay. And I'm going to be a drill sergeant. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, uh, and so I'll just, I'll just flash this Got to it. you. Okay. Here, I'm, I'm going to go. Wait, here, hold on. Wait, wait. Right. You okay. can text me and then we can both. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll just, we'll just get hold close. We'll just get close. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jesus. uh, all right. Sounds of feet marching and a military bugle playing. A drill sergeant is addressing a crop of new recruits. You maggots think you earned something by making it here, didn't you? Well, I look up and down that line and I see a collection of human feces. I don't see soldiers. I see failures. Am I wrong? No, sir. It's my job to take you rejects and make you into something the Salvation Army can be proud of. What's the motto of the Salvation Army? Blood and fire, sir. That's right. That's the real motto of the Salvation Army. Not a joke on a seasonal radio play podcast. The real motto. Google it. Ramsey. Yes, sir. What's your job today? Uh, 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 to clean the big red charity pots used by the Salvation Army during Christmas, sir. And why do we need to clean those pots? It, because money is in it and it gets dirty, sir. Ramsey, you have to be the dumbest sack of hammers I've come across in my 47 years on the job. Fall back. I've... I'm going to say this once and you morons better remember it. You will be cleaning these pots and they will be clean. Sure, the big red pots are a staple of American iconography. I can bet all you little perverts just love it when the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders rub all over them during home games during Thanksgiving. But even the most seasoned Salvation Army infantrymen can't protect them at all times. That's when the miscreants begin their vile work. Uh, like... like uh, Sir, like what, sir? What don't they do? The communists like to seize the means of their own production into it. The atheists rationalize, and that's where I ended. Like that's <laughs> where I ended. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, did, I, did, I didn't have other jokes. I mean, so. I, I, uh, the rest writes itself. I, th I think we can. <laughs> yeah, but, sure. But, Tell that to me who didn't write it. I, no, I mean just <laughs> plug, plug that in as a prompt to GPT, and and, and we're good to go. <laughs> GPT and we're GTGG. Uh, uh, so anyway, everybody listen to Andrew Heaton's holiday special as his friends who know he's stressing about it. We have uh, uh, given him our present tonight. Uh, more pressure on a thing <laughs> that he's already worried yep. about. Bryce, is that it? We got one more topic. Let's go. Joe Diamond in the herd. Oh, here's something that, that, that we, we ain't done. It. Here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Joe Diamond. Hey! Yeah, you go ahead in the middle there. Why I was doing finger guns, I have no idea. Because <laughs> that's where the uh, finger bullets come out. Yeah. So, uh, uh, mine bullets, whichever. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing we ain't done. Uh, we've seen some magic on the show. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't think we've ever seen some magic and then revealed the method. And uh, I, I would like to see. A, do you want to reveal the method? I do. I well, do. I don't know if I can reveal the method. On this. Well, we'll That's find out. Uh, what we need That's is somebody who hasn't seen this this card magic trick. Do we have any it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mentalism mind reading piece. Okay. Oh, yes. all, right, all right. Brett's yes. going to come on up. I'll take all Brett's right. seat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Brett. Brett. Yes. All right. Here, uh, Justin. Why don't you come on over here? Okay. Why don't you come on over here? Okay. All right. Now, uh, thank you so hey, much. Nice now, I've done you. magic for you on the show before. Yes. Uh, but you have no idea what we're about to do tonight. Nope. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, a mind reading piece. Oh, boy. Uh, normally, a magician would have you pick a card. Yeah. Uh, for this, just think of a card. Now, not the Ace of Spades. That's the death card. That, that, was that, would, mean, that would mean you have a problem inside. And yes. we already know that. Okay. Okay. So that'd be too easy. Okay. Not the Queen of Hearts. No. That's the next most common, and sure. there's no jokers in the deck. Okay. okay. So think of a card. A right. good card. Yeah, a good card. A okay. good card. Okay. Yeah, no, not card. that one. That yeah. one sucks. Yeah. They, Stop. It think of a better it does. one. Stop it. Think it of a better suck. one. It does also, suck. this is like no bullshit. This is a really good card trick. So, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Only just, to just, just to be clear, card. Brian, yes or no, this fooled the crap out of you earlier. Uh, Yes, it did, and yes. I believe it's the best card trick I've ever seen. And it looks this way every time. I'm not about to get lucky. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, face this way, face this way, take one step back, hold this hand out, palm up, just so that the camera can see and bend at the wrist place. There, perfect. I'm about to put a card on your hand. Okay. All right, here's all I need you to do. Don't react. Uh, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. I just need to verify you did settle on just one, yes? Yes. All right. Spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. Spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. I am going to put, don't look. One and only one card on to your hand. I'm just gonna angle your wrist right there so the camera can okay. see it, so they know I can't uh, can't do anything right there. Okay, the card is on your hand. In a moment, I will pick it up and show it to you. Don't move just yet. Okay. But for the first time, loudly so the mic can hear it. What card are you thinking of? An eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Now keep in mind, I went through the deck, took one card out. I didn't show it to you. I didn't show it to the cameras. I didn't show it to you. And I placed it onto his hand. This would be weird. Yes. Right, Brett? Yes. Be honest. Yes or no? How weird is that? That is very weird. That's very weird, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that freaking weird, you guys? That's <laughs> very weird. That is very, very weird, isn't it? Best card trick in the world. Yes, yes. Boom. <laughs> uh, the one thing Doug you can't Island. fake is a genuine reaction. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Do, <laughs> hold on, everybody. Can, 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 can we reveal the method? Uh, it's in Joshua J's book, Talk About Tricks, and it was in his Magic Magazine column. For reals? Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Josh J. Josh J. Yeah. A good, a good boy. Yeah, Love you don't him. get to say yes. the thing. Shit, that's the part I didn't know. Yes. Okay, well, go, go read all that shit, and everybody clap for Brett. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Uh, yay! I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, you can, can we text Josh J. Is that something we can reveal? Hey, it hey, hey on. No joke. <laughs> I, here's here's how here's how I'll phrase it. Here's how I'll phrase it. He got a very different effect. If you. <laughs> It's not the same. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you destroying the evidence? Oh, I wouldn't eat that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would. Do you want some Japanese candy? We have it in the green room. I mean, I, hypothetically, just imagine an image that you knew for a fact would always get a reaction. I mean, now you're just improv prompting me to say fucked up shit. Yeah. Uh, Should I? Yep. Well, uh, is that what you want? Like, is that what you want, or is that an unintended consequence of what you want? You know what? I feel like the safest thing to do right now <laughs> is to point out that at patreoncom slash night, you can get bonus uh, product here. Uh, 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 look, get all the we, bonus we are we are simply having a wonderful Christmas time oh, at oh. the uh, uh, a great night show, but. Uh, that doesn't mean that your bonus content stops. No, we were having a conversation just before the program that we are going to be continuing the content through the holidays. Everyone else is going to be taking some time off. Oh, so sleepy. Me, 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 
me? Not us. We're up like Santa's elves, and then whatever iconography comes with New Year's. We are going to make sure <laughs> that you continue a baby, to have a crystal content. ball, like a big party, champagne, drunk Anderson Cooper, like all canceled Kathy Griffin, canceled. Cancelled Kathy Griffin is my favorite New Year's Eve iconography where she's just like, find Andy there. If you listen on a cold New Year's Eve night, oh, you can hear her yelling. Anyway, uh, patreon.com slash great night. Get your bonus podcast. Uh, we love everybody. It is the uh, uh, longest running Patreon in my life and it changed my life. We, we might be among like a uh, first 100 or one or may, maybe <clears throat> might you we continue to eat cards <laughs> joe diamond has eaten at least two cards since we've done this plug can i have some he's just at four no he actually yeah he, he held he held up a, a four <laughs> you're really good at eating cards that's harder than you think uh because you know I only saw snow as a kid. No. And you, no, and you, and, and you know, and no, 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 no. You You're never, not. you never see snow in Texas. And I'm from yeah, Wisconsin. That's true. That's yeah. true. So I figured. Uh. <laughs> the trick ends clean. The trick and ends clean. The power goes out. Yeah. I'm out, bitches. All right. It, 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 is, it, is, it is not exactly. Not exactly an audio joke, but <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. If you've ever I'm not seen cleaning that up. David Copperfield <laughs> exactly. and you're watching this stream, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking amazing. Uh, Everywhere. Uh, uh, oh my God. God, there's so many things about that. That I want to say, and none of them I'm allowed to say. There was, there was, there was one. You don't want to open up the curtain on this one? <sighs> <laughs> about, about, about the review of that, of that trick that we heard from another name magician. Uh, oh, oh. I, we, we can't. Say. We can't. There's zero chance. Patreon.com slash yeah. great night. Tune in for the bones where, where we are less afraid to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, do we have a game? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the middle of the show. What a weird program. This is a great show. I this has been know. a strange program. But you want to know what? Things get weird during the holiday season. We like to do things a little differently here at Great Night. We have fun here. Mm -hmm. That's rule number one. We're like a family. We have fun here. Rule one. Yeah. Everybody have fun. Rule two. What's rule two? Uh, I can't think of any words that rhyme with that. That rhyme with Why two? Why are you way better at the show tune where everyone's gay <laughs> than <laughs> the rule two after everybody follow the rules? Um... I don't know, because it's Hanukkah right now. Yeah. It is. Is it who? You got do. You got poo. You got Ooh. loo. <laughs> you got fool. That's kind of. What, 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 what day See, of Hanukkah? See, it's harder is than it? you think. Crew, is it Hanukkah? Thank you. Uh, let's Here's see. our new game. What is <laughs> it? Hanukkah! <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brian Brushwood. As always, joined by my inimitable co-host, Justin Robert Young. I might be Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to play America's favorite game. Is, is it Hanukkah? As we talk to you right now, it is December 13th at 7.47 in the evening. So we ask you right now, Brett, you have roots in Louisiana and oh. uh, grew up in Houston. Neither are exactly Tel Aviv. We ask you right now, is currently, it, it Hanukkah! Uh, no, it is not. All right. Oh, we will wait. We will wait. Uh, Joe Diamond! I'm surrounded by snow from the snowy Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm here with magician and illusionist and mentalist extraordinaire Joe yep. Diamond. And, 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 and by the way, by the way, I will just say that in the upper Midwest, it isn't exactly packed with delis, if you catch my drip. <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 uh, talk my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so we ask you, uh, go! It is it Hanukkah! I don't believe so, no. Brian Brushwood! <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you. <laughs>
<laughs> you have grown up many places, none of which are exactly traditional hubs for which you would be exchanging guilt. That's G-I-L-T. I, I ask you right now, is it Hanukkah? Uh, first off, it's pronounced Hanukkah, and also yes. Oh yeah, what what night of Hanukkah is it? Uh, Way the best one. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's the greatest <laughs> night. <laughs> and now, as we tabulate the results, <laughs> we sing our traditional song. Is it Hanukkah? Hanukkah? Oh, Hanukkah! I don't know the dates. <laughs> it should be more available in popular culture, and yet it is stamped in this the tradition. We do not know unless somebody says, "Just listen to your Jewish friends and see if they decide that they can't go out that night, because then we will find that it's Hanukkah <laughs> tonight, and we are all going and don't know." <laughs> Bryce, for the first time tonight, can we re reveal for everybody the question that we have all asked? Is it Hanukkah? Ladies and gentlemen, today, December 13th, 2022, is not Hanukkah! Hey! Hanukkah begins Only December 18th. Only Brian's anti-Semitic. <laughs> I am circumcised, though. So I have a game for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a new slash old game called Oh Snopes You Didn't. Uh, I'm going to be giving you a claim that uh, the fact checkers at Snopes.com uh, put their analysis into determining if it was real or fake. I'm going to give you the claim. Uh, I may also have a little bit of information for you, and you're going to tell me if it's real or fake. Ah, the old claim game. Based on uh, how Snopes uh, d d d decided it. Brett, would you like to play? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Can you mind keeping score? I can keep score. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so this will be easy. I'll give you a claim. You'll tell me if it was real or fake. Justin, we're going to start with you. Let's go. Uh, Justin, the claim is not Judge Judy. It's the same color as my hit sound. All right, here's a claim. Wait, was that the claim? No, no, oh. that was just Bryce was uh, loudly again. narrating his inability to hit a button. <laughs> <laughs> they're the same. They're the same color. Okay. I was just trying to figure out like what I would even search for on that. I uh, yeah. No, it, it, it's fucking. It, 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 Question: it, it, Was that Judge Judy? It, it is. It, it is. It is Bryce's. No, Bryce could not hit a button. It, it is Bryce's Lorem Ipsum. That's right. Yes. All right, uh, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. A photograph shows hundreds of white electric cars that were abandoned in France because the cost of replacing the batteries was too expensive. Was that real or fake? Per the investigators at Snopes. Per the investigators at Snopes.com. That's right. Uh, should have a TV show. They should have a television show. We should host it. Shouldn't shouldn't that have been a television show on the History Network? Yeah, I I feel like we would have, if I was watching us do a sizzle reel on it. I, I think the note I would have given us was we were a bit too young and funny. Yeah, hypothetically. I, wait, wait, can we can you just say it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I think we did. I think we, yeah. Well, uh, that's fake, Bryce. You're gonna say that the claim that, is yeah, fake. that's straight fake. That's too much because Snopes really feasts on on a lot of the like right wing memes that are bullshit. Like that's like like a lot of what they do, and so that feels way too boomer meme. Like like oh, this is what the future of electric cars really looks like. All the commies in France did it, and now they're all parked in a. A, a field. <laughs> okay, Brian. Munching on their baguettes while they all sit around playing harmonica or some shit. Is it? Uh, yeah, I heard a little bit of Rush Limbaugh there. Well, you know, I mean, like, snurdly, like, I, they're all out in a car park. You would think that's what they call it out there. They, they call it a car. Snurdly, I know it's a parking lot in America, but there it's a car park. And then. And, and, they can't get the batteries, Snurdly. They can't get them. And so they're just left out there. I'm. I, this is just me narrating the thing <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. voice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bryce, can I get some clarification? Are the only options true, false? Because uh, sometimes they do the misattributed. Uh, correct. So, uh, uh, so Snoops does have a variety Snoop? of labels. 
Snopes has a variety of labels of how to determine things. Uh, we're be, uh, I've I've compiled them. I've binaried them into real or fake. Okay. So, right. uh, yeah. If it's here, here, not if it's not real as the claim describes, it's fake. It's fake. Uh, here's here's what I think. I think it is real but misattributed. And what they'll do is they'll explain if you ever, did you ever see that documentary Who Killed the Electric Car? The one yeah. that begins with Ed Begley yeah. Jr. crying at the funeral yeah. for the EV1. Yeah. Uh, uh, that documentary basically explains how. California passed some laws that where where they wished technology was better than it was, so Ford was incentivized to make, make an EV1 make, yeah. that yeah. was wildly unprofitable. So the second their leasing program ended, they were able to just died. Yeah. kill everything, right? I think that's exactly what happened here. I think it's a true claim, but misattributed. Okay. So are you going to say that's a real? He's saying real. I'm saying fake. Okay. You're going to say real. He's going to say fake. We were looking for this image was considered miscaptioned, which I call fake. Mm. Hey. That's right. Hey. Uh, Guess it real or fake. Are they are they not electric cars? Uh the the Fighting that shit like a snake. Uh, news outlet The Observers previously reported that the picture was not was taken not in France, but rather just outside of Hangzhou, China. The cars in the picture belong to an electric car sharing company named MicroCity. Yeah. The company went bankrupt in 2019. Yeah. There's no data to show that the EV battery replacement carts, parts costs had anything to do with the reason the cars were abandoned. With this new information, I yeah. have completely recalibrated the way I play this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that okay. shit was from Snopes. It was from... I'm not wrong like the Pope. <laughs> The Pope is famously wrong. Yep. No, he's oh. not wrong. No, he's famously not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not. He's not, infallible. Not, I'm not not wrong. I can't stop a rock. He's not God. The big bang no, that's the point. Jump. Is that he's, he's the, fucking I'm the Pope is infallible. But he's not God. My no, name he, he, is he listens cool Pope. To, and I'd like to say hello. Okay. You just, <laughs> Nobody's you allowed to have a bit without Brian in it. You can't fucking do that. Okay. You can't do that because like, I, I can't do. yes and you. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to Brian on this one. Brian. <laughs> he stepped on my thing for a thing that I can't respond to. Oh, that's why I did it. <laughs> I, I, and, the and thank you for that The Pope's one. infallible. All right, go on. Have you ever been go, sitting go, go. on the Pope throne? <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get you a singing show. We just need to make a show where you oh, can sing. Oh, goodness, I'd be terrible at that. Brian Idol. That's not, that's not, You're that wasn't, figuring that, out? that doesn't have anything to do with my pitch. All right. <laughs> the only thing I'd be worse at it is a dancing show. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you want us to explain why that's a burn on you, or? <laughs> oh no. Okay. We should do a watch along for that. Uh. Oh. Let's talk about Patreon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tears. No, come on. YouTube Shorts. We could do that. That'd be great. Holy crap. Yeah. I wonder how many people would be surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just ran... yeah. Okay. All right. Put a pin in that. All right. Brian, we're gonna start with you on this one. Uh, this is. Uh, here's the claim. The claim is. A magazine advertisement from the 1950s promoted a handgun for women's use with the slogan, for that strange, depraved creep who won't leave you alone. 100% true. If anything, uh, the, it, it, the reason I know it's true is because they didn't go far enough. They should have gone farther. People don't realize they didn't grow up in the magazine era how fucking wild magazines were. And I only realized when I was a, a young adult that I was there during the sanitized period of, 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 of magazines. They had become a big enough business that they were actually trying to, like, police themselves a little bit. But there was shit in they, the, like, they, they were dirt 50s, rags. 60s, and, and shit, like, shit like that where it was, like, magazines were the internet message board of their time. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted I think that that absolutely is is there to market guns to women, and they would use exactly that language. That is T R U E true. All right, you both have said true, and your answers of true are both oh, oh, oh. right. Correct. This. If it ain't, it ought to be. Wait, uh, he said. Wait, incorrect. You were both incorrect because it's fake. Nah. Uh, this uh, th this image uh, turns out was uh, based off of an old toothpaste ad for Gleam, the only toothpaste for people who can't brush after every meal. Uh, they also had some other inconsistencies. The type of gun that they photoshopped into it was wrong. The color of the gun has never been offered by Colt. It's not a Colt Cobra. Any number of things. Um, but it was a good bit. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I actually had the thought like 
fuck, how do I make us right? And I literally thought, the only way is the time machine. <laughs> and then I... <laughs> dun, 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 Marty, dun, dun, dun. I saw an episode of Great Nights. <laughs> <laughs> the boys got one wrong. <laughs> oh, jeez, Doc, I just, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, I'm going to go uh, uh, fly away with Einstein. You take this newspaper and make sure whatever you do, uh, put it in the hands of an archivist. Okay, Doc, okay. Jeez, all right. Okay, yeah. I guess I'm just hearing this improv by myself. I've been abandoned by all narrative thrust. <laughs> hey, archivist, here's the paper. The Thank scene's over. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow, that fourth movie was bad. Yeah. Uh, they shouldn't have rebooted it. They shouldn't, they, have, they done shouldn't, that. shouldn't have rebooted it. We don't need to go back. Yeah. We don't need to go back. All right, your kids. Movie about saving one bit from yeah, a podcast. From Great Night, yeah. <laughs> it was a bad move, as it turns out. Right. Even Spielberg's got his misses. Justin, Ooh. we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. <laughs> that and the Fablemans. The claim is... Low water levels in Texas revealed 113 million year old dinosaur tracks. Is this true or false for our friends at Snoops? Mm -hmm. Well, now, you have a lot of factors going on here, uh, but I think that it is <laughs> true. <laughs> Sorry, are you a Kentucky lawyer in well, Texas? Well, <laughs> now, I'm just, oh, I'm the old uh, Snoops prosecutor <laughs> when i look upon these snopes claims i lay a very careful eye <laughs> and i say to that home <laughs> because to me uh this accent is already better than james bond's in the movies <laughs> oh no that's why all right so you but also i would say that there have been droughts in Texas, and it would not shock me if there were some things in old river birds that were <laughs> revealed <laughs> to the human eye that had not been seen in many years. That's like I'm wrapped up in a nice warm blanket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Justin's going to say that's true. Brian, the claim. Uh, Berice, uh, may I see the photo full screen? Uh, sure. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Why are you going to do that? Uh, we're, wait, we're, we're looking at the same little tiny Objection, your honor. Stand. He's interrupting me. Uh, he's already... Objection, your honor. I would like to say that this is sustained. <laughs> wait, oh, that would be great. Somebody you objects and somebody interrupts the judge. When you have an accent <laughs> this effective, you can sustain your own objections. Please proceed, Bryce. I'll if your objection lasts more than four hours. Objection! He's using the same accent as me. Yeah, he's really just stealing your bit. Sustained! You, okay, well, uh, I'll give you this. It's a little bigger. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need your answer here. Low, so, low, low water levels in Texas revealed 113 million year old dinosaur tracks. Is that real or fake? Uh, two things. First of all, there are a lot of actual dinosaur tracks here in especially Austin, Texas, because we have a lot of limestone. Uh, but they don't look like that. That looks like a bad Photoshop job, especially because you can tell there's a lot of dust that has been rained upon and dried and blown away. This is a Photoshop, but it is true that there are lots of uh, uh, dinosaur tracks in the line. Objection! Limes. He's trying you to cover his both tracks. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a that's a lawyer point for you. Is there is there a pun penalty? Sustain. No. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got you got to pick one or the other, true or false. Well, or I fake. don't know because I, it's a game. I was I was exactly right on everything, and you, mm, it was wrong. False, false, it was whatever the opposite real. of what Justin says. Okay, you're gonna say fake then. <laughs> Bit thief. <laughs> what? Yeah. What, you got a character for that, too? <laughs> uh, yeah. Has somebody registered bitthief.ly, and then we could just use it to, rep, to link to other people's things? I don't know. Has anyone had that idea that you had? <laughs> I don't know. You ever heard of this? You ever heard of this? All right, all right. You ever heard of this? You ever heard of this? <laughs> all right, Justin said that it's true. Brian said it was false. The answer we were looking for was. This is a true claim. Hey, well, now, it appears that I have come out on top. 
Bryce, is that an actual photo from Texas during a drought? Yes, it is. Due to excessive drought conditions this past summer, the river dried up Mm -hmm. completely in most locations, allowing for more tracks to be uncovered here in the park. Under Mm. normal river conditions, these newer tracks are underwater and are commonly filled in with sediment, making them Mm -hmm. buried and not as visible. Mm -hmm. That's just as I suspected. Bryce, (laughs) please, next question. The problem with these tracks is not that they are underwater. Nobody's asking why they're underwater. (laughs) It's because Is of that the Bernie or? Or? I don't, I've got nothing. Sorry. <laughs> no, hold y'all. on. Hold on, bro. <laughs> no. I would like to investigate that accent. <laughs> Sustained. No, 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 no. When you first envisioned that accent, <laughs> who were you trying to impersonate? I yield the floor to my good friend, George W. Bush. Do you say <laughs> that it was Bernie Sanders? Were you trying to do Bernie Sanders? At what point during your impression <laughs> did you give up on the bit? <laughs> I'll rest my case. Bryce, next question. All right, our next question. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> Here's the claim. It's Dur- true. Uh, during Hurricane Andrew in 1992, animal take- uh, caretakers at the Zoo Miami, then the Miami Metro Zoo, sheltered dozens of flamingos in a bathroom, real or fake. Um, well, I know that there are flamingos in Florida, and I know that there are hurricanes in Florida, and I know that there, Bathroom. I'm told there are bathrooms in Florida. <laughs> uh, true. Wait, all right. have all of, yeah, true. All right. He's so, a- you, so uh, what you are saying is that <sighs> that specific picture of a bunch of flamingos sitting in a bathroom as if they're in line to do cocaine is a real picture i mean it's definitely a real picture we're looking at it in fact but it has not been altered by any kind of photoshops (laughs) gimps go on other photo (laughs) editing (laughs) software Um. That's all You're you got. You're saying that there ain't no kind of masking, no kind of cut and paste, no MS no paint, no kind of MS paint, no blender, no blender, no you, you're 3DS the one back on the by Audios, Mac by Audios, <laughs> Audios. Yes. Okay, hold on. You're telling me that there ain't none of that in that there picture? I am. I sustain that is a totally <laughs> real picture. <laughs> In fact, I think that was Hurricane Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That You're all to bring out the gimps. <laughs> well, no, I won't be doing that. Uh, all right. We were looking for. This is, in fact, a true claim. Uh, 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 ABC News Australia republished this picture ahead of Hurricane Irma in 2017 with a caption that incorrectly stated that more than 50 flamingos were herded into the bathroom during Hurricane George's in, the ni- uh, in 1998. Okay. But uh, the photo's real, and it really did happen in 1992 for Hurricane Andrew. Oh, shit! So it did happen for in 19... That was like, part of the claim. Literally the thing... It started, during Hurricane Andrew in 1992, animal caretaker... Yeah. So I fucking called it. Or my... <laughs> sorry, my lawyer called it. You, you definitely <laughs> remembered a part of the question and said it back to me. <laughs> well, okay. I wasn't Lord. listening to your question. Well, <laughs> So I well. still get credit for the answer. <laughs> oh, we! Oh, <laughs> we have a conundrum! Sorry, I was going to do Who is that to, to represent you defending your bit. And, yeah. Because you can't do it yourself. From the bit thief. <laughs> Bryce, next question. All right, our next question. We're going to start with you on this score. one, Justin. Go ahead. Here's a claim. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 score. What is wait, 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 the score? What's the score, Brad? I, if, if I am doing the score right, yep. Uh, Brian has one point, mm. and low rent Dr. Phil has three fo- points. <laughs> So Who is that? Not Dr. Phil. You said like Dr. Phil. No, because Dr. Phil would be uh, 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 more accusatory. That's true. Like, like, like this is more of a wandering Southern okay. uh, caricature. Like, he, like, he's more like letting the world come to him. Dr. Phil is like, so you're saying <laughs> that you live in a doghouse, <laughs> a physical doghouse <laughs> made of plywood. Snoopy would live in it. That would be Dr. That, Phil. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. you're more the the lawyer from uh, from my cousin Vinny. This he's doing Benoit Blanc. Basically, Blanc. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's more that's more where this is coming from. Yeah. All right. Deconstructing uh, the bit. 
<laughs> Always makes it funnier <laughs> deconstructing the bit. <laughs> Leave no room for mystery. Hey. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> but, 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 but. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm little Timmy. I'm going to deconstruct all the bits. Well, Timmy, you can't do that. <laughs> I'll show all y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be on a podcast, and I'm going to take an opportunity to keep going, but I'm going to stop the show to deconstruct the bit. <laughs> I'm going to learn all the best bits and then I'm going to refuse all the rules. <laughs> bum, bum. Here I am at Bit College. <laughs> oh, what a difficult professor I'm dealing with. <laughs> Nobody shall ever break the rules of bit, bit College or you won't get your Bit degree. Oh, ah, dog got it. Bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have bit cancer. <laughs> oh, I, I did, got bit chemotherapy. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm now 40. Oh, my God. I'm old. <laughs> what? He skipped a lot. He just... You have I to just, understand, I'm Bryce. Literally... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Bryce. <laughs> As Bryce's lawyer, I need to explain to you that the man has the musical theater fever tonight. <laughs> he just can't help, but all of his successful improv are musical theater related. Please throw roses at Brian right now. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, well, you want to? Can we de deconstruct that bit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely me seeing you in pain and thinking the funniest thing was to jump in with Wolverine claws, <laughs> and then and then I found myself also in pain, ironically in the same position. Bryce, now next we're all question. Up. <laughs> all right, our fifth question here. We're gonna start with Justin on this one. This is the claim in thir uh, excuse me in nineteen thirty eight. Helen Hulick was held in contempt of court and sent to jail for repeatedly wearing slacks to court after being told by a judge to wear a dress. Is this a real or a fake play? Uh, give me the year again. 1938. The year, 1938. The Zeppelin disaster, still fresh on the minds of all of Americans. The jitterbug, long out of fashion. Hitler is on the rise. We go now to a courtroom somewhere in America. Could possibly be. Uh, 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 I'm a judge. I'm, I'm very <laughs> upset. Uh, 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 everybody, uh, 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 boy, because we don't want to offend the modern audience, I'm not going to say the rest of my opinions. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm really upset at you, little Missy. We cut away from here. our coverage for this breaking news. Aliens have <laughs> invaded America. Sorry. Boy, uh, uh, we're really escalating these stakes. Uh, 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 you little Missy, you better wear a dress. If you don't, I'm going to kick you out to the curb of society. <laughs> Wait, are you allowed to be a lawyer? I don't know where American society is in 1938. We're not doing the newsreel anymore. I, <laughs> we, that was a framing device, and now I'm carrying the bit. In 1938, Helen Hulick was held in contempt of court and sent to jail for repeatedly wearing... Brian is just tickled pink with this. Uh, sent to jail for repeatedly wearing slacks to court after being told by a judge to wear a dress. Real or fake? Uh, I think it's real. Yep. You're going to say it's fake? Or so, so it's real. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, that one's on me. That one's on me. I just said that wrong. All right. So you're going to say that. Gaslight and Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> so you say it's real. Why do you think it's real? Uh, uh, uh misogyny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, Brian? I think yeah. It's no, real no, no, no. Well. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'm here. I'll say it. There's a glass ceiling. I'll be brave. I'll be the first to say it. Women have gotten a raw deal. My name is Alan Ally, and I'm here. <laughs> and we're back from commercial. I had to take a dump. That's why I was gone for a little bit. We go back to no, live reactions. times. That's mm, stop uh. it. Don't take a shit, newsreel man. <laughs> you brought that bit back just to say you took another shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of shitting. All right, you both said that that was a was real... There a bunch of Whataburger stoners in there? <laughs> <laughs> newsreel! There's a bunch of 17-year-olds uh, chiefing the big Cheap. <laughs> the devil's weed runs amok. 
The devil's <laughs> weed. Devil's weed? Yeah. Not uh, the not devil's his, lettuce. Not his lettuce. I've heard the devil's lettuce. I yeah. was thinking of. Well, no, because uh, the devil has to modify something. Right, so if it's weed, oh, yeah. weed is just weed. <laughs> well, I, actually, that's that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> it's like ah, oh, the ah, oh, I see you're injecting the devil's heroin. <laughs> 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 Ladies you're and really gentlemen of America, Satan's we've received them. very critical news. I'm I've been criticized. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to apologize on behalf of myself, my wife, and my daughter Judith. We promise it will never happen again. I will now retire into obscurity. <laughs> and he died that day. <laughs> the newsreel man who was embarrassed on the air survived by his wife and his daughter, Judith. We all remember that he read the news and he hired me. Mommy. Low rent. Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah, a uh, child. What? What do you want? I'm trying to read the narration I'm to sorry. the newsreel man's. They're death. lowering my dad's body into the ground. Yeah. And you're standing on the skirt, and everybody's yeah. awkwardly watching you do this narration. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but your father. Hey, little Judith. <laughs> I heard a lot about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From what? your father, who paid me money what? 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 to what? read his narration while he died. What? What did you hear? Because I'm 18, Mister. Like caramba. Well, well, now we're crossing a few lines, <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm not comfortable with it. But as a cheap Sam Elliott replacement, <laughs> I got to take my chances where I can. Here's my number. <laughs> What's the number, mister? It's 1938. Is this Pop a radio station? No, uh, uh, Poplar 458. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying at the old saloon at the Soda Jerks Emporium. <laughs> you know, oh, the Soda Jerks store that, just is called. That, is that where they manufacture all the uh, Soda Jerks? <laughs> well, you'll have to show up to find out. Let me finish this eulogy for your father. Okie dokie, I'll just suck Judith is a real Bye. smoke show. What the fuck what did the you fuck? say? <laughs> Judith, what? Judith, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Judith is taking advantage Judith, of that. We are the only Judith, people on earth who cannot rewind Apparently right Judith now. is doing some very lewd scene work. <laughs> But this is a radio <laughs> drama for which has <laughs> taken a very adult turn. Wow. <laughs> I wow. guess based on what she's doing, the professionalism of my voice is even more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, what's the next question? That's some Steve Gutenberg level <laughs> shit. All right, you both said uh, that Helen Hulick was held in contempt of... <laughs> <laughs> he, he just got it. Yeah. It was worth it. As uh, Heldon condemned Detroit said to Jay, you guys said that that was true, and the answer was. <laughs> he's done it! it was real. Hooray for the soda jerk emporium. <laughs> uh, hundreds of letters were sent to the courthouse prote uh, protesting the sentencing. The, ap the appellate court overturned uh, Judge Guerin's contempt citation uh, during a habeas corpus hearing and Hulick was free to wear slacks to court. She was jailed for a couple of hours. Uh, the next time she went to court, she was actually wearing a dress and it was a, it was a whole, a whole thing, but she won the right to wear pants in court. Yes. God bless her. God bless her. All right. Ain't no one need to see them shins. Keep them, <laughs> put them away, ladies. Ladies, put them away. All right. Uh, after you had a right to hide them. After five rounds, Brett, what's the score? The score is Justin. You have four points. Brian has two. Hell yeah. There we go. Hell Arr yeah. Arr Insurmountable lead. <laughs> well, uh, it turns out this is our final round. What? Oh. Oh. And it's going to be worth 10 points. No! Oh. But, you, know, you know what's funny is we always make a bit out of this, but there is actually a little bit of actual gamesmanship to the fact that you're ahead and I'm behind. So if we both get it right, then I lose. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, so that means that we're probably going to have to 
each walk over and whisper in Bryce's ear what our answer is. You know what? Just what? be safe. Let's go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. We had to know you the question. You have to hear the question. Wait, he's, no, he's really doing it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I guess I need to do it right now. All right, now. I guess. <laughs> All right, so they are on their way over here. Just whisper right. things into Bryce. All right. here. Here Just go. one okay. second, everybody. This is exactly right. what we were At expecting. the same time? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you brush your fucking teeth. <laughs> Some of you like coffee. <laughs> All right, I think oh. Justin said fake, and Brian might have said penis. I don't quite remember what he told me. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like someone's seen cats recently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the claim. A burglar mis uh, mistook dried sperm for cocaine and snorted it, ah! contracting syphilis and herpes. As a result, is that a real or a Ooh. fake story? I stand by my initial claim. You stand by your answer of fake. Uh, no, no, and Brian's, Brian. Brian's is whatever he whispered. I didn't hear you. What, Put what, it in the science machine. What, <laughs> For, for the record, Justin whispered fake, and I whispered, I'm really sorry I did this. <laughs> and then Justin blew into my ear like I was taking an eye test. No, I just hold very on. Do they? Whoa, 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 hold on. I breathlessly hold on. said fake. I'm Is not going to deny that I was lustily about it, but like I just, I breathily. <laughs> what, and you lose fake. a lot of breath. Front what of what a lot optometrist of breath. blows in your ear during an eye test? Not your ear, but in the eye. They have the one where they oh, blow in your eye. Right. Oh, no, I, I knew yeah. exactly. I was pretending to misunderstand, and it, it, wait for, it, it, it done that. Deconstructing the van. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like everyone is on your side on that one. All right. Uh, Brian didn't answer, and Justin said fake. We were looking for this story. Oh, you want to see the photo? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. that's her. Uh, oh, Jesus. That was a girl in pants. That's still scandalous. the scandalous. <laughs> Uh, this is the photo of the man attached yeah. to the story. Wow. Uh, uh, ropes for Snopes, people are calling <laughs> More like Nopes. Splash money on my yep. face. Splash yep. money on mm -hmm. my face. Yeah. Place? Place. Place? Yep. Yeah. I stand behind it. I'm, yeah. We're, we're just skittering it. Just fucking <laughs> right. yeah. we, gotta, we got other things to do. Uh, we were looking for. <laughs> Stoic Squirrel in the chat says, he seems nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's that claim was b -b 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 with 14 yeah. points. Your winner today is Justin Robert Young. By a lot. By a lot. Yeah. Uh, that article. Ah, ba -ba uh, that article was a work of satire. Uh, it was from World News Daily Report, which uh, has a dis disclaimer. It's a satirical story. Yes. What What does the uh, What's the name of the website? It's Snopes. What do they com? say about uh, the accusations that? Uh, <laughs> Former President Barack Obama was putting his fingers in the breakfasts of Patriots. Oh my God. <laughs> that wasn't even. That was. That was Patriot hole. Objection that sustained. Uh, 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 Bryce, can we please begin the ending music of yes. the show, please? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mr. Blanc. If you've got an idea for a game, please email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or find all these information at the show description wherever you're enjoying this at the moment. Let's end the show. Uh, well, Brett. Now, thank you, Brian Brushwood. Can you please give us a little ending denouement of this program, please? Sure. <clears throat> a lot of people ask. Oh, it's <laughs> nope. <laughs> Brett, what did we learn? We've learned <laughs> that uh, ropes for Snopes is my thing. My father said <laughs> you'll never grab up a podcast. <laughs> We've learned that Justin Robert Young should have been an uh, unfrozen southern caveman lawyer. Yes. Facts. <laughs> and we've learned that for Bryce, ASMR is probably not a good idea for him. <laughs> and, and that's what I've learned. Hey, Brian. Yeah. It's been a great night. Oh, my gosh. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. I I love the Southern lawyer. Love you. Mm, 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 mm. Happy Hanukkah this uh, weekend, allegedly. Yeah. Yeah, what if I was right? That would have been so awesome. It would have been. It would have been awesome that you knew a religion. Yep. <laughs> sure would. Name, name one. Christianity. I thought Nailed it. Well, well. Protestantism. 
Judaism. T I L. Buddhism. Taoism. Taoism. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>